Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> okay welcome back to my channel this morning we're going to the hospital for another appointment come and say good morning oh yeah say good morning good morning yeah good girl i'm kaima yeah. okay so send me ariana and kaima yeah you're ariana and kaima yeah. okay so i have a doctor's appointment today and it's can i decided that kaima would not go to school today go today because it's ridiculous for me to drop her in school, go to the hospital, come back again and pick her. I might not be able to make it at the right time to pick her up. So I decided she wouldn't go to school. So I'm off to the appointment. Like, I can't wait to get the baby out. Okay, so this is my baby boy. Like, so ready. I'm so ready to get the baby out. I can't wait. Okay, so we are back home. I'm about to make Kaima's hair to make something very simple for her. Because I know next week, if I'm going to make my hair next week, she'll definitely make something that will last for at least a month. So I just want to make something that she can use to school tomorrow and the next few school, school days. And I just had to remove my wig because I was sweating. It's warm inside. So I have to do like a lot of things. I just gave her I'm oh, sorry. I just gave her her phone so that she can be washing her again while we are making this hair. And that is why I don't really make something serious for her. I always make something very simple. For her because Kama will never sit down and let me make her hair for a very long time. She'll be running around. But if it's in a salon, she will let whoever it is make her hair for her. To make Kaima's hair in this country is 30 pounds, 30, 40 pounds. That is like has about 12, 15 thousand. Which gets me irritated, honestly. Like, because I know how much I make Kaima's hair in Abuja. I don't pay more than 3, 2, 5. Aside the attachment to make her matter, the highest I spend with attachment is 5,000 naira. But here, with my own attachment, I still have to pay 30 pounds to get her hair done. Then to fix my hair is 100 pounds to fix. Then if you have a special style, it might be more. So, I do a lot of DIYs. <laughs> Nice, you like it? Mm. Okay, what do you say to mommy? What do you say to mommy, baby? Baby, what do you say to mom? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love you. Oh, yeah, come and help me to tidy up. Come and help me to tidy up. Please. Oh, okay. Kema wants to go and check the mirror to see what her hair looks like. We shop in two. Oh, oh, my baby said she doesn't like her hair. Come on, your hair is such is beautiful. Look at your hair. Your hair is beautiful. It's beautiful. And that's beautiful. It is. It is. It's so beautiful, Kaima. Mommy loves it so and it fits you. It's beautiful, Kaima. Okay? Okay? Oh, yeah, come on, let me bring out some baby hair for you so that it will be more beautiful. Okay? Come, let me bring out some baby hair for you so that it will be more beautiful. Let me bring out some baby hair for you so that it will be more beautiful. Baby hair, yes. Baby hair. Yes. Oh, the baby hair is small. No. They will make you look more beautiful. Just babies. Like a baby. Guys, like I made this beautiful hair for Kaima. And Kaima said that she doesn't like it. She was like, Mommy, 
i don't like it we're going out for shopping now we'll first of all go to the african shop then from the african shop we'll go to lido and then morrison we like to shop like twice in a month i'll keep you posted We are finally back home. It's been a very easy day. Let me not say, let me not use the word stressful. Let me use the word easy. This guy man has been shouting pizza, 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 pizza. Hi guys. Hi guys. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back, back to, to my, my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, this morning we're going to the hospital. I'm going for another doctor's appointment. Can we say hi? Hi. Say hello. 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 Are you, are you cold? Are you, are no. you happy? No, I'm warm. You're warm? Very warm. Do you want to remove your jacket? Okay. This is summer and we're supposed to. We're supposed to at least be enjoying the sunshine, but it's not, it's not like there's no sun, it's still very cold. And the last time I went to see the midwife, the midwife was talking about uh, membrane sweep to induce labor. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. I think I'll just wait. If the labor doesn't come at 41 weeks, I'll then go for the membrane sweep and maybe the inducement in the hospital and i even had time at 42 weeks so i don't even see the rush but the midwife was telling me that they wouldn't want to wait till the baby is 42 weeks i don't know why they won't want to wait till the baby is 42 weeks i don't know why she told me that they don't think they'll want to wait till the baby is 42 weeks because of the risk in maybe having a still bet but i had time at 42 weeks in nigeria so why not i'll wait i'll wait until it's 42 weeks i feel like it's only dangerous after 42 weeks <laughs> even though now i think i am tired but i'm still strong i think i'll, I'll wait if i have waited all this well what is two weeks or three weeks more that i can't wait like i'm literally like so scared right now because i'm scared because i don't even understand what is going on anymore Mom, Mom, what about my boogie? You, your boogie your boogie is there we are going to buy something i want to buy you something so like i just got into the hospital now and during the scan they told me that there is no fluid anymore for the baby that there's no fluid in my womb anymore baby i'm not i'm not scared your mommy is not scared okay so i was scared because i was just scared i told the doctor that i was scared people the doctor said that i'm going to deliver this baby today that i have to deliver this baby today i was expecting that maybe i'll give birth at 41 weeks because i had time at 42 you know and now the doctor said i have to deliver this baby today or tomorrow that they have to start inducement that there's no fluid mommy, mommy, for the baby anymore mommy, mommy. and he was asking me if my water has mommy, been going mommy, out mommy, mommy. like if i've been noticing mommy, any fluid coming mommy, out yes baby then i put it by myself no that didn't help i put it by myself okay love 
I was like, can't I wait till next week? He said, no, that they are scared that something might happen to the baby. So that they have to start the inducement today. So that by tomorrow I should deliver. So I think I'm going to call my husband right now. And I don't know, like, at this point, I think I just have to do what, I don't know, what the doctor thinks is right. That's what I think I'm going to do because I want my baby to be fine. I got um, cake for Kaima, cake and coke and um, what do they call this? Burger. No, it's not burger, it's just sandwich, to toasted sandwich. And then me, I'm taking hot chocolate. And I have also my dad. Guys, we just finished eating and I'm going back. That's not how wood. I God, I just need all the positive energy. I don't know. I just need. I need like all the strength I can because I'm so weak right now. Like I'm so scared. But it is well. God will take control. I trust God. I had to tell them that I'm not ready today because honestly, I'm not ready today so when i told them that i'm not ready for the inducement today they now said okay that they'll book me in for tomorrow by five o'clock and then that they just have to assess the baby again right now to know if the heart beats and everything is fine that once it's fine then i can go home and come in tomorrow for the inducement so i think this is the best thing for me because god knows i am not just ready and i've been calling my husband i don't know what happened it's unlike him he's not picking his calls so i think after this assessment this uh, assessment i'll go home and then get ready for tomorrow tomorrow by five i'll come back for the main inducement at least i think it's better for me to prepare myself prepare my mind you know before coming to do this thing i asked the midwife that i hope tomorrow is not late he said as long as the baby is fine that they are ready he had to call the doctor that as long as the baby is fine that they are ready to hold on for me to come in tomorrow so i'll come in tomorrow evening i should take some rest Okay, love. My baby said I should take some rest so that I'll be better. So you take some rest. I should give you the phone. Yes, oh, oh, oh. You so you take some rest. I should give you the phone so I can take some rest. Yes. Uh, my Kaima said I should give her the phone so that I can take some rest. Okay, Kaima. Now, give me that. I should give you that. Yes, so, so you will sleep. You want me to sleep? Yes, so you will be all better and smile. Okay, love. So give me it. <laughs> you want my phone? Yeah, because, because you want... Okay, love. Okay, guys, so this is going to last for 20 minutes. So, guys, let me take some rest. Okay, bye.